Hello and welcome to How to Play Charlemagne, presented by GatherTogetherGames.com. This video will cover how to play the card game Charlemagne. The video will start with the general concepts and gameplay, and then get into more of the details for the game. The game is played with four players divided into two teams. Teammates sit across from each other. To play, you will need a 34 card deck, the aces down to the sevens in each suit, plus two jokers. Each player is dealt eight cards in sets of two cards at a time. During the deal, the dealer will deal two cards into the middle to form a kitty. Charlemagne is a trick-taking card game. A trick is created by each player playing a card into the middle. The player with the highest ranking card wins the trick. Each round there will be a trump suit. The trump suited cards for the round will outrank all other suited cards. The trump suit will determine the card ranks for the round. For example, let's say hearts are trump. The two jokers are the highest ranking trump cards. One joker will need to be assigned to be the high joker and the other will be the low joker. For this deck, the black joker will be the high and the red joker will be the low. Next, for the trump suit, the jack becomes the next highest ranking card, then the jack of the same color becomes a trump suited card. Here the jack of diamonds becomes a trump card and is known as the little jack. Next is the ace on down to the seven. The non-trump suited cards rank from aces down to the sevens. Going back to the hands that were dealt earlier, I have flipped up each player's cards for you to see. In an actual game, you will keep your cards hidden from the other players. The round begins with each player making a bid or passing on bidding. A minimum bid of 5 is needed to win the bid. A bid of 5, 6, 7, or 8 means you and your partner are required to win that number of tricks. The player that wins the bid gets to take the two kitty cards from the middle and discards two unwanted cards from their hand. There are other possible bids that will be covered later in this video. The player left of the dealer is first to bid or pass on bidding. Player B bids 5. Bidding continues to the left to player C. Player C bids 6. Player D passes on bidding. Player A passes on bidding. Player C wins the bid at 6. Player C will take the two kitty cards in the middle and will discard two cards from their hand. Player C announces spades as the trump suit for the round. With spades as the trump suit, the jokers become spades and the jack of clubs becomes part of the trump suit. With a 5, 6, 7, or 8 bid, the player left of the bidder leads the first trick. Player D leads the ace of diamonds. Play moves left to player A. Players must play a card in the same suit that was led whenever possible. Player A follows suit with the eight of diamonds. Player B follows suit with the nine of diamonds. If a player is unable to follow the lead suit, any card can be played. Player C plays the trump suited seven of spades. Since the trump suited cards outrank all other suited cards, player C wins this trick with the highest ranking card. The player that wins the trick will lead the next trick. Player C leads the next trick with the joker. Players must play a trump suited card to follow suit if possible. Player C wins this trick with the highest ranking card. Player C leads the next trick and players continue to play two tricks until all cards have been played. After all cards have been played, teams will count how many tricks were won in the round. Team 1 got 7 tricks. Team 2 got 1 trick. Team 1 made their bid of 6. If a team is successful in winning the amount of tricks bid or more, they score points based on the bid. For a bid of 6, Team 1 scores 6 points. The first team to 32 points or more wins the game. A bid of Mulot means a player will play without their partner and try to lose every trick without using the kitty cards. There is no trump suit when playing a Mulot round, but the jokers are still considered trump and will outrank all other cards. If a joker is led, the player with the other joker must play it. If a player has a joker and cannot follow the lead suit, the player must play the joker. A bid of Charlemagne means a player will play without their partner 
and try to win all eight tricks. The bidder of Charlemagne gets to use the kitty cards and gets one card from their partner. The card from the partner is chosen by the partner without any discussion and before the trump suit is named. A bit of Gros Mulot is the same as Mulot, but the bidder will play the round with their cards exposed. After the first trick is completed, the bidder will expose their cards. A bit of Gros Charlemagne is the same as Charlemagne, but the player has to choose between using the two kitty cards or getting one card from their partner. During a trick, if no trump suited card is played to a trick, the player with the highest ranking card in the lead suit will win the trick. If a bidding team is unsuccessful in winning the required amount of tricks during the round, the opposing team scores points based on the bid that was made. That wraps up how to play Charlemagne. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and find more game tutorials by subscribing to the channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.